Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. I'm one of the uh, members of the zoo's education team. Um, and while the zoo's closed, we just wanted to give you a little peek of what still continues to go on here at the zoo, even when we don't have our visitors here with us. So one of the things that happens when our visitors are here is they ask us a lot of questions about our animals' behaviors, um, like our noisy flamingos here. <laughs> For example, one question we get a lot is, well, do flamingos prefer to stand on one leg or do they prefer to stand on two legs? Well, keepers, they ask themselves a lot of questions about the animals in their care. So they are often asking questions and making really careful observations about the behavior of the animals to learn about their natural behaviors and also to find out their preferences so that they can provide them the most natural, um, natural lives possible. And we also try to provide opportunities for our visitors, particularly our field trip groups in the spring, to ask questions as well and even to help us collect some data. Although our field trip visitors aren't here with us at this time, Hannah, one of uh, the members of our education team, is actually carrying on that task of, of making careful observations of our flamingos and collecting data of her own. Now she is examining that question of, do flamingos stand more often on one leg or two? She started at 10.30 and she's recording every two minutes how many of the 15 flamingos are on one leg or on two legs. And at the end of the day, she'll look at all of her data and maybe even combine that with data that we've gotten um, from past um, sessions when we've run our what we call pop-up lab here at the zoo and she can start seeing some of those trends. Do they really prefer one leg or do they prefer two legs? So next time you come here to the zoo and we hope to see you all soon, you too can use those great observation skills to answer some great questions of your own. Thank you all so much for your continued support. That's what helps us to continue to bring world-class care to all the animals here at the zoo.